Hi, I'm Emily Rosemont from the Track Cycling Academy. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about eating and planning food around a training day. After watching this blog, you should be able to take away a few tips for both training and competition environments. Uh, but if you find there's any other questions you might have, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Uh, we will be collating everybody's feedback and passing on to our nutritionist to answer shortly. One of the main differences between training and racing when it comes to nutrition and food consumption is nerves. Nerves tend to upset the system, so as a first strategy, don't try new food types and products on race day. Always leave experimentation to training days and that way when you go to a competition, you already have a tried and tested plan in place and you're going to feel confident about it. Before training session, it's always a good idea to ensure you have a good source of carbohydrate to fuel you for the session ahead. If it's a longer session, say a couple of hours in duration, take a top up source of carbohydrate so you don't experience what we like to call a hunger flat. That's where you run out of energy and experience a real lull in your training sessions. Carbohydrate is the easiest energy source for the body to break down and utilise. So for fast energy requirements and replenishments, consider carbohydrate sources with a good nutritional content such as fruits, apples, bananas, pears and so forth. Protein is a little slower for the body to break down into energy, but it makes for a more sustainable source and aids in recovery. Following a session, in addition to replenishing energy sources immediately with carbohydrates, think about incorporating protein into your plan. Protein allows you to do two things. It optimizes muscle growth and optimizes muscle repair. Immediately following a training session, your muscles are primed for the replenishment process, which is why it's really important to follow up your session with both carbohydrates and proteins. Fat is the hardest for your body to break down into energy, so it is a slow process. Using fat as an energy source for a shorter race or events, training sessions, etc., it is an ideal. The reason being is that it takes your body more time to convert foods that are high in fat into energy. In this case, it's better con to consume uh, a carbohydrate source instead. For ultra endurance events, fat and protein sources can make the difference in making it to the finish or not. So it's important to consider your events and disciplines that you're participating in before making nutritional choices. Look at the energy systems that you'll be requiring and utilizing and plan your nutrition to best optimize your fuel requirements. This is best achieved with a sound advice from a good nutritionist, which I'll talk about a little bit later.